Hi guys, today I'll be going over some stuff about ignition switches and the USB button box. Um, first we need to go over how the game handles starting the truck. You need to set the start and stop engine, start and stop engine electricity to separate buttons. Press E for electrics and Q to start the engine. If you take a look here, if I press Q, it, nothing happens, but when pressing E, it shuts the truck off. I'll go over how I wired the ignition switch. We need two pairs of the leads that came with the zero delay controller. Two of the red wires are hooked to the battery terminal. The separated black wires go to the ignition and the middle terminal. If you'd like to be able to use the accessory position to the left, you can simply run a jumper wire from accessory to ignition. In order for this to work, we'll need Joy to Key. The link is in the description. See, without using Joy to Key, the ignition would start normally, but in order to stop the engine, you gotta go back to the off position and then turn the key on again. This isn't what we want. Now enjoy the key, we'll double click on our electrical button and go to the keyboard multi-tab. Select input 1 when the button is released and input 2 when it's pressed. Change input 1 and input 2 to the key we'll use. Now if we go back in game, the ignition functions as it would in the real vehicle. The same idea with the release this press key map can be applied to single pole, single throw switches as well. It's best to map the joystick buttons to the keyboard in order to take advantage of the input 1 on release and input 2 on press. As you can see, single pole, single throw switches don't need to have a toggle mode in order to work. They send out a key press when first flipped to the on position, and another one when flipped to off. It's acting as a single keystroke each time the switch is flipped. Now I would recommend getting the ignition from Napa. I bought the one from Amazon and it broke after a month of minimal use. It's worth the extra 8 bucks for sure. This technique will also work in other games as well with no problem. I'm not sure if any other key mapping software is able to do the release slash press find. That's the main reason I'm using Joy to Key. Thanks guys, like and subscribe.